Hey there, garden fans, and welcome back to the Permaculture Homestead. It's getting to be about spring here in Zone 8. Our last frost date is March the 15th, so it's time for me to start direct sowing some cold-tolerant crops. Today, I wanted to bring you on that journey as I plant out some carrots, some salad greens, and I've even got a flat of sea berry here that needs to go out. Sea berry are fairly cold tolerant if you give them just a little bit of protection. These guys here are about 10 weeks old and I just can't keep them inside any longer. I need the space for other vegetables. So I want to show you how I plant all these things out. For me, any planting begins with good soil. And lately, I've been finding the best soil in my chicken shed. Not my compost pile. Uh, I've really been sifting out a lot of the wood chips and getting a really good growing medium that I've been using to uh, start vegetables. So it all starts with soil. Uh, here I got a plot that I've been growing arugula in during the winter. It's just now going to bolt. So it's kind of lost some flavor. You can see how healthy they are and the great root system they got. I'm going to go ahead and get those to the chickens. When I'm ready to plant, I got a three-step process. Pretty simple. Step one is just to remove my mulch layer. Now I'm not tilling at all, but I will scuff up the top inch or so of soil. I don't want to disturb any of the soil biota deeper down. After that, it's just a lasagna style method. I'm just gonna add, add, add. Here I am adding the chicken compost. And now I'm ready to plant, guys. From here, it's just as easy as digging a furrow and putting my seeds in. I'm planting things pretty tight here since carrot is a root crop and it grows down deep and salad is obviously above ground. So I'm able to do alternating rows here of salad and carrot. I also like to overseed, and I certainly will thin out a little later on once I see how well these seeds have germinated. And there we go. Once I've got that seed in, I'm just going to reapply my mulch layer and get her watered in. And that's that. Uh, once I've started growing like this and direct sowing, I'm going to go ahead and direct sow these crops every two weeks until about June or July. It'll keep me stocked with greens, but pretty much the rest of the year. Now when I plant sea berry, it's a little bit different. Once again, I'm not tilling at all. Uh, I have a plot here that I've been cover cropping for a year now, and the soil is certainly ready to take on some other forms of life. And I figure sea berry is just perfect for that. When I'm planting these guys, I'm just digging a small hole. I'm adding a little bit of that chicken compost and planting my plugs directly into that. I've already planted out some sea berry. You can see the jugs out there. Um, we've had temperatures as low as 28 degrees and the plants have still not died. So with just a little bit of protection, I've found that these sea berry are very hardy. Uh, sea berry are monoecious plants, meaning that they are separate male and female. So I'm kind of overseeding here in an attempt to uh, find the sex out later on. And once I know which ones are the males and which ones are the females, I will prune accordingly. Oh, well, that's it for today, guys. Really hope you enjoyed the journey. I appreciate your subscription and viewership and supporting this little homestead. Uh, please like share and subscribe to this video. Uh, you never know who might need the information. Uh, thanks for watching. Please keep in touch and God bless.